Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Michelle and I'm so excited that you're here. If you would like to subscribe and see more videos about luxury handbags, unboxings, hit that subscribe button. Or you could ask me questions in the comments below. I'm excited to start this journey. I'm going to do a Louis Vuitton unboxing. It's like a little luxury snack. So if you like luxury snacks, me trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. I'm not really sure what a luxury snack is, but so moving forward. So I'm going to unbox the latest member and what they consider the Louis Vuitton House of Pets collection. Now this was sold out online quite a few times when I tried to obtain it. I purchased it to put on my Alma BB. Originally when I bought this bag, there was a different bag charm that I bought and I'll put a picture of that up so you guys can see it. I really liked that charm, but it came with some flaws and some drama. So when I saw this bag charm, I knew this is the one that I would rather have on my bag. So this is how it came in the mail. Um, it was delivered by, I believe, UPS. Shipping took two days, which is pretty awesome. Uh, they overnighted it, so it came really fast. I think I purchased it on Saturday and got it by Monday, and it did require a signature. This is the box it came in. I ordered it in the gift packaging because I just wanted to see what that looked like. My last couple purchases from Louis Vuitton were definitely not in their original packaging, especially that bag charm I was talking to you about. A lot of the times when you go in store to purchase one of their bag charms, they don't have them new they're normally sold out. So when I purchased the Louis Vuitton bag charm that I got before, it had been in a display case and it had scratch marks and other flaws that I'll link in another video that I will be making soon about the quality issues that I've had with Louis Vuitton. But it came with this cute little receipt holder. It comes with a prepaid shipping label that I'm going to throw on the floor so you can't see where I live. It comes with this cute little receipt and this is really cute with their quality card and thank you and as well as like all of the exchange and return policy stuff that's all kept in this neat little envelope which I like to have these things because if you ever go to resell having this when it comes to Louis Vuitton is so important it is so hard to sell Louis Vuitton products unless you have um, proof of purchase so it's really nice to know this came with that this is the cute little box that it came in with ribbon. You know, when I left Wailea with my Alma, I actually put my Chloe bag inside the box and I just took it like this. I bought a strap, which I'll show in another video that may or may not have quality issues as well. And trust me, I'm not just being picky. Um, however, I have just the standard strap on it now that it comes with. I did not get anything wrapped up there. Everything I bought, I slapped on this bag and walked out with. So I never got to experience the Louis Vuitton packaging and it's just super cute. So it has this cute little note on the top of it. Oh, and it's just like a little blank card. So if you're giving it as a gift, you can write a little note on there. I should write a little note to myself. So let me take the blue ribbon off, which was really hard to do because I absolutely love this ribbon around this little Louis Vuitton box. I'm gonna open her up. It comes with this little cotton dust bag. Pretty much all their stuff comes in these cute little dust bags, which is really nice because if you ever want to store your Louis Vuitton products that you're not using, you can keep them in the dust bag and it's going to help them retain quality and just keep them safe from dust and other environmental factors. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely adorable. It came in this like plastic wrap. And like I said, I'm going to post some close ups for you guys but I cannot wait for you to see this. I'm trying to take it out of the plastic on camera. Okay. So this is the Louis Vuitton dog bag charm and it's from what they call the House of Pets collection and it is considered a Jack Russell Terrier. I'm gonna put this on the ground. And it comes with this cute little tag, which none of my stuff that I was aware of came with this cute little tag. Oh, she got a little bit of dirt on her. I'm gonna have to clean her. But um, this is considered a Jack Russell Terrier. It's gonna be so satisfying to take this little tag off. 
and it's just always like that but it is the Jack Russell Terrier with this cute little tennis ball it's got silver hardware and it doubles up as not only a key ring but a bag charm and this is what it looks like and like I said, I'm going to post some close-ups of it so you're not struggling to see it from far away. It does say Louis Vuitton on the hardware up top, as well as on the back. It says Louis Vuitton Paris on the cute little Louis Vuitton tennis ball. And then this little guy, it looks like his ear could move, but it doesn't. It doesn't move. So it's just kind of, it's on there. But he is like a dark brown with white and he has a silver... He has like the Louis Vuitton enamel maybe. I'm kind of concerned a little bit looking at it thinking, okay, hopefully this doesn't scratch um, off. I'd be really disappointed because he is, he's just so cute. And then the other side of him is silver with the Louis Vuitton pattern indented into it. Okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with me here, but I could not talk to save my life. Maybe I was mesmerized. Louis Vuitton monogram pattern. How hard is that? This is a great little charm. I think it fits me much better. I do have two dogs of my own. They're not Jack Russell Terriers. Um, they are both Border Collies and I love them so much. The only thing that I think that I didn't see that I was kind of an illusion to me on the website is I thought this part was open. So like I didn't think the bottom back leg was connected to the upper body. I thought this was open and I kind of wish they would have opened it up just a tiny bit more and then kind of carved out this back leg a little bit so he had a little bit more of a butt. He's definitely a little bit more on the junkier side, but he's cute. And I'm just going to put him on my Alma. And let's put you on the slope. He just hangs like that. And I love that the silver matches. That was a big winner for me. So I'm just gonna let you look at it. So this is my Alma BB. This is what the cute little keychain looks like. One of the reasons why I picked the black Alma was because I can treat myself every once in a while to a different keychain and be more minimalistic with my luxury collection. I do have an addiction to luxury and designer handbags and trying to become more minimalistic more mindful with my purchases is really important to me. And this is one of the most expensive things I've ever purchased for myself. I do believe this is gonna be timeless for me. And if I ever want to get another bag charm, it would be like a treat to myself to kind of customize the Louis Vuitton. I think one of the cool things about Louis Vuitton is that you can customize the bags. It's a little bit more expensive compared to some of the other brands that are customizable, but you can go in there and, and take one of their classics, which I recommend getting a classic bag and then giving it some personality that fits in with your style is great. So this is what I did for myself. Okay, let's talk about price. Now the price isn't on here. <laughs> it's not. They call this the Louis Vuitton Dog Key holder and bag charm. Like I said before, it's universal. Um, now, I would normally go through an essay to get something like this, but this was sold out multiple times. It restocked. I added it to my cart and I purchased it because I didn't know if I'd have another opportunity to buy it. Stuff is really limited right now. So I got my hands on it. I paid, and hopefully my husband isn't watching this, $585 for this bag charm. The other bag charm I bought was the same price. Wrong. The price was actually $520, whereas the new one is $585. I did get a discount in Wailea of 10% off. Except for it was 10% cheaper in Wailea Maui because they are on a different price point system. So I no longer have that other bag charm that I'm going to show in pictures. I just have this one for my Alma, and I really love it. So anyways, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is my first YouTube video, so it's gonna be a little bit uh, different. I don't have the lighting correct yet. And right now behind me is the beautiful Oregon sunset from our farm. And yeah. Also, if you're feeling up for it, go ahead and rewatch the video and tell me how many times I use the word cute because it's too many times.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And tonight I'm gonna leave you with that beautiful sunset that you saw in the background of my video from our farm. And don't forget about bag snacks. Hmm. Bag snacks. Would a bag snack be like this? Because it's kind of like a little snack to snatch your purse? Or would it be the wallet that goes inside because your purse is eating the wallet as a snack? Maybe that's a meal. Maybe I'm breaking this down in a weird way that no one else will understand, but bag snacks. I got you snatched.